The Hunger Games did a lot of things right, faithfully adapting Suzanne Collins' best-selling books into a blockbuster franchise that launched Jennifer Lawrence into worldwide superstar status. But as good as it was, it didn't quite do everything right. Here's a look at some dumb things everyone ignores about The Hunger Games. Idiocracy The basic concept of The Hunger Games takes some suspension of disbelief to buy into, but even then, the politics don't really make much sense. Think about this. The folks in the districts do all the hard labor to keep the rich people in the capital flush with food and coal and amazing hair dyes. Considering they need the workers in the districts to keep working, wouldn't it make way more sense to actually, you know, feed them enough to do that work? Plus, given how technologically advanced the capital is, using just a little bit of that know-how to help automate things like coal mining would significantly boost productivity while also raising quality of life and morale in the districts. Acting like a bunch of evil jerks might be fun, but it doesn't make good business sense. Drinking Games When we first met Haymitch, he's pretty much a useless, snarky drunk with no interest in helping Katniss and Peeta figure out how to survive when the fighting begins. Then the next morning, Jerkface is gone and has suddenly been replaced by a helpful, wise mentor who whips the District 12 team into shape. That change happens literally overnight. So maybe all Haymitch needed that whole time was a good breakfast? Coaching fail. Speaking of Haymitch, he's apparently the smartest dude in the entire country. Because when the games actually begin, the contestants from every other district act like a bunch of idiots. Haymitch's big piece of advice is to ignore the supplies at the cornucopia and just run for the woods. Because it's gonna be a bloodbath as the others fight over the goodies. And it is. It seems obvious, but apparently the mentors in other districts didn't think to pass this nugget of wisdom along to their kids. Because sure enough, a bunch of them get creamed in the first 30 seconds. Maybe their mentors were even drunker than Haymitch? Wait, no, that's impossible. It's well after breakfast by this point. Burn, baby, burn. A pivotal moment in The Hunger Games takes place when Katniss is chased up a tree by a pack of other contestants. After a half-hearted effort to kill her, Peeta convinces them to just make a campfire and wait for her to die of, like, old age or something. That turns out to be a bad plan. Because through a complete stroke of luck, Katniss finds a conveniently placed hive full of genetically modified bees, which she drops on their dumb heads. I think those are tracker jackers. Am I wrong? Oh. Those things are very lethal. Mm, very. But if those kids can make fire, why didn't they just, you know, set fire to the tree? Trees are made of wood, right? Even in the future? And if the flames didn't get her, the smoke probably would have, or at least forced her to jump, which probably would have hurt her pretty bad. Way to go, you dead dum-dums. Cake Wars Peta may not be the most useful guy with a weapon, but he sure is one hell of a painter. He shows off his incredible camouflage artistry during training, and again uses it to go incognito after suffering a pretty substantial sword wound to the leg. We're told he picked up this rare and impressive skill by... Decorating cakes at the District 12 Bakery. Really? I, uh, I used to decorate the cakes down at the bakery. Huh. So does that mean the U.S. military should be tapping the camouflage skills of Duff Ace of Cakes Golden? Should Cake Boss be teaching courses to Army cadets at West Point about how to disguise yourself as a giant edible pink rose for combat reasons? Just how the hell does baking and decorating cakes teach a kid how to go full-on mud man? Listen, PETA, we're calling shenanigans. The amount of effort and talent it would take to create that spotless camouflage is a whole lot more than you'd pick up by writing, Happy birthday, here's a cold cake, a few times a week with an icing squirter. Plus, since we're on this subject, how would anyone in District 12 which is entirely made up of starving coal miners, have the cash to get a cake. Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.